What's up guys, my name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be showing you an extremely simple and quick tutorial on how to port forward anything to your PC through both your firewall and your router. Say you're hosting a Minecraft server, want to open your NAT in a game, or anything similar to that, I'll be showing you how to do that today with a very simple example. Now obviously every router is going to be completely different, so I've set up my own basic one here with all of the basic information that you'd usually have, with a bit of stuff on the side that's not really necessary. Either way, what you'd usually do is look for something named port forwarding or application forwarding in your router settings, which is why I've got a basic layout of here. So before we begin, there's a couple of things that we need to know. Number one, it's the ports that you're going to port forward. For me, it's TCP, these ones, and UDP, these ones. These are the ports you need to open for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 on PCs, NAT type to be open, allowing you to connect to anyone. So obviously, if this were a Minecraft server, it might be... 27015 or something along those lines, you'll need a list of ports as well as the protocols that they are, which are TCP and UDP first. Next, you'll need your local IP address. This is simple. Hit start R, type in CMD and hit enter and then type IP config. Hit enter again and then find the way that you're connected to the internet. For me, I'm connected through ethernet directly to my router. So that is ethernet adapter ethernet. If it's wireless, it might be wireless or something along those lines. If you see multiple, make sure you recognize what it is, i.e. Ethernet or wireless, and then make sure you have an IPv4 address. Go ahead and select the IPv4 address. Mine is 192.168.1.4. Right click to copy. Go back to your file where you're writing all the stuff down and paste it in. Now that we have the basic information that we need, we can go ahead and close out of command prompt and head back to our router settings. So I've already filled in all of these first few TCP ones and these ones over here, I have just two left to go. One is a port range of 27,000 to 27,031 and the second is just a simple port 27,036. So we'll fill these in. So external port 27,123 to 27031, 27000, 27031. Make sure the protocol is correct, so UDP, dot four, and enable it. Obviously, your local IP will be your local IP, and the rest of this will be the information you want to port forward. Hit the add button, and we'll begin filling in the last one, which is 27036. Protocol, UDP. 1.4, enabled, tick, and add new. Now that we've got all of our ports here that we needed to forward, there is still one very important step that a lot of people miss out on, and that's allowing people to connect to your router and then to your PC through your Windows, Mac, or anything else like that's firewall. This is very simple to do, though a lot of people forget. If you're running something like AVG, ESET, Malwarebytes, they might have their own firewall that you need to allow them through. You'll have to Google for a quick example on how to do that, but today I'll be showing you how to do it on the Windows firewall. So we'll begin by pressing start and typing in firewall. Windows Defender Firewall, if you're on Windows 10, or anything previous or next will be something similar. Hit advanced settings. Right now it's complaining because I have my antivirus as my firewall, but I'll still show you the example regardless. So go to inbound rules, and on the right hand side hit new rule. Select port, and hit next. At this point we need the list of ports that we need to forward again. So we'll start with the top ones here, which are TCP. So make sure TCP is selected, specific local ports, so that's 3074, comma, 27014-27050. This allows both the port of 3074 and the port range of 27014 through 27050. Hit next. Allow the connection. Next again. Make sure all of them are ticked and hit next. And we'll give it a friendly name that we'll remember it by later. Usually it's whatever you're trying to port forward. So I'm trying to port forward Black Ops 4's NAT. Hit finish and you'll see it adds itself to the top of the list. Click Outbound Rules, New Rule, Port, Next. Make sure it's still TCP or whatever you're trying to port forward. Specific remote ports, 3074, 27014 through 27050. Allow the connection. 
Make sure all of them are ticked, and we'll give it the name Black Ops for Nat. Now we're not completely done because we've only done the TCP ports. We'll go through and repeat the process for the UDP ports. Port next, and this time we'll select UDP. 3478, 4379, 24380, 27000, 27031, 27036. And we'll make sure to copy it this time so that it's easier to use later. Next, allow, next, next, black ops for nat UDP. Unbound rules, new rule, port, next, UDP, paste in, next, allow, next, next, black ops for nat UDP. Finish. And that's basically it. There's still one more very important step that a lot of people miss, and that is if you're going to tell other people to connect to your IP, it cannot be your local IP. If they try to connect to this, it will simply time out because you're not on the same local network. What you need to do is go across to Google and type in what is my IP. Hit Google search and make sure to copy what it gives you up here. This is your remote IP address and it is different to your local IP address in that other people in other networks can connect to your PC through your local network. Anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this demystifies port forwarding because just a simple Google of port forwarding leads to incredibly difficult tutorials or things that are worded in technological ways that not a lot of people might understand. Now obviously this is going to be very different depending on what kind of router you have, though the basic concept is still there and I hope this video helped at least push you a lot further in the right direction. Thank you all for watching, my name has been Technobo here for Trommelshoot, and I'll see you on the internet.